Hey guys, I'm back with another Photoshop speed editing tutorial and this time I'm going to be working on an expansion where I stitch together a number of different images to create one final composition. Here we have the original photo I captured of Elle swimming in the ocean. I'm going to start by cropping the canvas out into a square and positioning Elle where I want her to be in the final image. The rest of the blank canvas is what I will fill in with the expansion. I'm scrolling through my archive of photos from that shoot and selecting a few that have large areas of ocean that I can use. I position these photos on top of my original and then use a layer mask with a large soft brush to start blending the oceans together. While stitching together these images, I keep in mind the depth of field of the ocean and choose photos where the water looks sharper for the top half of the image and photos where the water is softer and has less waves for the bottom half. This keeps the overall expansion looking more real and natural. I'm also tone matching each photo as I edit using the curves tool in Photoshop and either making them lighter or darker. So I finished my initial expansion, however, I didn't achieve the depth and impact I was aiming for, so I'm going to continue with the process of expanding even more. I crop the canvas outwards into an even larger square and create a stamp copy of all the layers. I then use the lasso tool to select a rough outline around L, invert the selection, copy and paste the layer, and use the transform tool to stretch out the ocean to fit the new canvas. Then, using a layer mask, I blend out the larger expansion with the original image so it fits seamlessly. To add some final touches, I use the stamp tool on a low opacity of around 20% to alter some of the waves in the ocean so they don't look repetitive. And the final stage is to adjust the tone and color of the image. I start by doing this in sections, first by making the bottom half of the image darker and the top half of the image brighter. I then use the curves tool one last time on the overall composition to tie in all the layers together and add more of a blue tint. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and here is the before and after of the final image.